Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In this video, we're going to show you the basic procedures for painting small repairs or replacement parts on your BMW or Mini using our factory matched spray paints. We'll show you two different processes. The single stage process is quick and easy and provides a reasonable finish. The multi-stage process takes a little more time and effort, but results in a factory-like final finish. Watch the video and see which is best for your project. You can also see the Fall 2010 issue of the Bavarian Autosport Fast Times newsletter for further DIY painting guidance. The one-stage painting process will begin with a simple scuffing of the surface of the part. Using the Worth abrasive pad, go over the entire surface of the part until it is fully and evenly scuffed. After scuffing, clean the part with paint prep cleaner. This will remove the dust from the scuffing as well as any oils or waxes from your hands or the manufacturing process. Use a lint-free rag to apply the cleaner. Here we're using the Centara disposable cleaning cloths. The cleaner can air dry or you can wipe it with a clean dry cloth to speed the drying. Once the part has been cleaned, do not touch the surfaces that are to be painted. Here we have assembled a simple handle to hold the part while painting and during the drying times. Before applying paint to the part, practice your spraying technique on a scrap part or a sheet of cardboard. Note the pattern from the special fan spray tip. Apply the paint in smooth, even passes. Start the spray before hitting the part and keep spraying until the spray is past the part. Don't stop in the middle. Repeat the opposite direction. Overlap the spray patterns by about 50%. Our first coat of paint will be applied very lightly. Do not attempt to fully cover the part in the final coloring. The first coat should be translucent. Once you have applied the first light coat, let the paint dry for about 15 minutes. In applying the second and third coats of paint, we are going to be achieving a deeper color coverage with each coat. Do not try to fully cover the part in just one coat. In the third coat, work on keeping the paint looking a bit wet as it is applied to the part in order to achieve a nice final gloss. This is where you can easily apply too much paint and create a run. You should practice keeping a wet paint edge on a scrap before applying the final coat to your finished part. The multi-stage painting process will create a finish that has a high gloss and will match the original finish on your BMW or Mini, especially with metal flake finishes. We have prepped our part in the same manner as we did for the single stage process, using the scuff pad and the pre-cleaner. Note that you may wish to fix or improve any imperfections in the part, via sanding with wet and dry emery paper prior to the final cleaning. If you do this, be sure to use 600 grit for the final sanding until none of the coarser grit marks are visible on the part. Mask any areas that should not be painted, such as the motor assembly on this mirror. Note that we now have the Worth Professional Body Shop masking tape available. Our first coats will consist of a high grade primer, such as the Worth Flexiprime shown here. As we had noted earlier in this video, do some practice spraying with the primer so you will know how it sprays and reacts. Since the inside edges of this mirror will be visible, we'll start by spraying this area. As noted in the earlier portion of this video, do not try to fully cover the part in just one coat. Here's the fixture that we devised to hold the part while painting and while drying. Continue the initial primer coat on the exterior surfaces. Remember to use the extended overlapping strokes.
The primer dries fairly quickly, so you can work on initial coats in the first areas that you covered without a static drying period. However, be careful in doing this as you certainly can cause runs if you apply the paint too heavily. If in doubt, just let the paint dry for about 5 to 10 minutes between coats. If you do create a run, let the part dry for a couple hours and then sand the run out and start over. In order to achieve a very smooth and glossy finish, we will lightly wet sand the primer using the 1000 grit emery paper. Keep the emery paper very wet during the sanding process. Dry the part and let air dry until fully dry in all areas. Just prior to final painting, give the part a quick wipe with the paint prep cleaner and let dry. Test the paint spray pattern as noted earlier. Note how we have rotated the mirror on its base in order to assure paint coverage. As in the single stage process, apply the first coat in a light overlapping pattern. If you create a run in the color coat, let the paint dry for at least a day and then sand out the run and start over with cleaning and additional color coats. Apply the second and third coats as discussed for the single stage process. On the final coats, keep the paint edge wet. However, this is not as critical as it was with the single stage process. Note the level of gloss on the color coat prior to the clear coating being applied. Our clear coats will produce our final gloss. Apply the final clear coats as you would the second and third coats of the color. You want to have a wet paint edge in order to produce the glossiest finish. Note the gloss after the clear coat. Apply two coats of the clear with 15 to 30 minutes drying time. 